The five ancient coins that were discovered on Lot 5, situated on the western front of the island, have been linked to the Knight Templars, and there is a potential that they are connected to them. And it's not just that there were a few findings that left the whole crew stunned. There are too many discoveries of 2024 that have been leaked. What would it be like to be right there in the heart of it, discovering riches and stories that defy words to explain? An extraordinary day happens on Lot 5, as Rick, Marty, Craig, and the well-known Gary Drayton work together to search for clues close to the location where three mysterious coins were discovered. This trip is something that the crew is truly looking forward to, and they are prepared to devote all of their resources to it. They get the impression that they are very close to discovering the treasure that they have been looking for forever. The crew is highly optimistic about the possibility of discovering something else on Lot 5, where they have discovered four coins. The Oak Island crew, led by Rick and Marty Lagina, has been successful in their treasure hunting endeavors for the past 10 years, and they have found a great deal of fantastic gems throughout this season. On the other hand, the most recent discoveries that were made in the first episode of season 11, which was titled On the Money, brought the enthusiasm to a level that had never been seen before. Not only do these newly discovered artifacts provide credence to previously established hypotheses, but they also present captivating histories, ranging from daring British explorers to covert missions of protection. It has been revealed that the 11th season of Oak Island has some of the most memorable events that have been leaked. What breathtaking discoveries are there that are just waiting to be found during this season? All of the artifacts are like pieces of a puzzle. In the event that they are located, it may be possible to unravel the mystery and bring a thrilling conclusion to the lengthy search. Therefore, what did they discover? Five astonishing discoveries have been discovered by the team, which is led by Rick and Marty Lagina. Each of these findings adds another layer of excitement to the continuously unfolding narrative. Initially, the discovery of peculiar red earthenware at Lot 5 raises the possibility of colonies dating back to the early 1600s, which challenges the preconceived notions that people have about the history of the island. The sonic drilling efforts of the team, despite the fact that they initially showed promise, came across a mystery soft area at 109 feet, which hinted at the possibility of being close to the initial money pit. An intriguing metal piece, which may have been a vintage lock, was found using a metal detector. Which brings us to the second highlight. CT scans have led researchers to believe that it could be a river spike, which would connect it to the beliefs of the English treasure seeker Sir William Phipps regarding Oak Island. In the history of Oak Island, which dates back 228 years, there is a good chance that this particular chapter will be the most important one ever written. Why? You might ask. To put it simply, hold your horses. At this very moment, the crew is deep into the heart of an exciting exploration at Lot 5, which is located on the western part of the island. Together with the renowned archaeologist Laird Niven and his experienced companions, they are working together in close collaboration. But that is not the end of it. Gary suddenly came across a lead barter token, which was a shocking and unexpected turn of events. Considering that this discovery may have a close relationship to the lead cross that was discovered in Smith's Cove in 2017, which dates back to the 14th century, the significance of this find is quite high. The attention of these individuals has been drawn to two mysterious stone buildings, and it is possible that these constructions predate the infamous discovery of the Money Pit in 1795 by more than a century. The previous year, a spectacular event took place on this identical plot of land. A task that Gary Drayton, the metal detection virtuoso of the team, embarked on left, everyone in a state of utter awe. Over the course of their historical investigation, he discovered not one, but two extraordinary artifacts that caused shockwaves to travel through the area. To begin, a remarkable item from a bygone era, an antique Roman coin comes to mind. The fact that this piece of history is approximately 2,000 years old demonstrates a fascinating connection to a world that existed a very long time ago. 
A detailed picture of a history that we are just starting to comprehend is painted by this chain of evidence, which is nothing short of awe-inspiring. The question now is, what are they going to discover today? With the expectation that they will find something of significance, Rick, Marty, and Craig, together with Gary Drayton, are going to begin their quest. Which location is this? A few days ago, they discovered three antique coins in this very same location, and they were really fortunate to have found them. A beeping sound has been produced by the metal detector. If this is the case, does it indicate that an extraordinary discovery has just begun? There is some digging that needs to be done. A potentially fruitful location is indicated by the metal detector. Let's wait and see what they discover. It's a coin, that's for sure. Another coin is in the air. Underneath a heap of sand, they had discovered yet another coin. Does it play a significant role in their discovery? In terms of scale, it is comparable to the discoveries that came before it. A closer look reveals a distinctive design as well as a probable number or symbol, despite the fact that at first glance there would be no apparent features. Now is the moment to take these coins to someone who is knowledgeable about coins. In order to shed light on the origins of the coins, the team has collectively made the decision to engage with Sandy Campbell, a numismatic specialist. This week, four enigmatic coins were discovered on Lot 5. The team is hoping that Sandy, who has 40 years of experience in analyzing rare and ancient coins, will be able to answer the mystery of where these coins came from. A lucky shot, or a coincidence, cannot account for the finding of five coins in close proximity to one another. Sandy might have the answers to the questions that have been raised about these coins. There must be a reason or a tale behind them. Are you prepared to solve the mysteries this coin has to offer? Sandy has completed the process of handing over the coins one by one in order to obtain the history. All right, let's find out what these coins have to say. Sandy reveals, by examining the design of the coin in great detail, that it was minted during the Tudor period, which occurred in the 1500s. Due to Sandy's knowledge, it has been determined to be British, as it possesses a portcullis that is comparable to those found on contemporary British coins. What comes next? When Sandy examines the next coin that is presented to him, he suggests that the coin is a Roman coin that dates back to between 100 and 300 AD. That coin is a Roman coin. Hmm, that's interesting. With only three coins remaining, what are the members of the squad going to do with them? A thorough examination of the coin, including its design, frame, and design, is performed by Sandy before he divulges its origin. Let's take a few deep breaths together. However, the coin is of Indian origin. There was a mystery surrounding the discovery of three antique Roman coins, as if that were not enough. What exactly is this Indian currency doing in this location? This item was created between the 6th and 8th centuries. I mean, who would have believed that could happen? With a little bit of Chinese wealth thrown in for good measure, they have discovered English booty, Spanish riches, and even an Indian currency. Who on earth compiles such a bizarre assortment of coins that have no connection to one another? They are merely attempting to decipher the code and make sense of the mayhem that has occurred with the coins. But hold on to your hats, everyone, for there is one more little nugget of treasure that is going to be dropped upon the ground. These little coins? It is a true Roman shiner with detailed embellishments that are so obtrusive that they grab your attention. When it comes to these Roman beauties, it's like striking a perfect two for two. Will you ever forget that unforgettable moment of high-fiving? Everything makes perfect sense now. During their investigation of the most recent discovery, they discovered a portrait of a man who has a pointed chin and a nose and is not afraid to make a statement. The flip of that coin reveals two characters embracing each other, most likely dating back to the historical period of ancient civilization. The bombshell is being dropped by Sandy with complete and utter certainty. This coin has the potential to be the most valuable of all those found on Oak Island. The mysterious nature of a coin that has been in circulation for more than 2,000 years is heightened by the bold design on the coin. This search for treasure 
is being accelerated by the discovery of three Roman coins, each of which has its own story to tell. Is it possible that there is a fascinating connection between the age of the coins and the possible priceless treasure that is concealed beneath them? One might begin to believe that the coins in this location represent the key to something significant because of the connection that has been triggered between the age of the coins and the probable ancient treasure that is concealed beneath them. The research that Zena Halpern is conducting is something that Marty believes might be related to this. Just what is the purpose of this research? Theories that propose a relationship between Oak Island and the Knights Templar have been linked to the research that Zena Halpern has conducted. The idea of Templars sending missions to North America was even brought up. The Oak Island mystery revolves around the assertions that there is hidden treasure or artifacts on Oak Island, which is located in Nova Scotia. The findings of Halpern's research have generated a number of hypotheses, some of which propose that the Knights Templar or other ancient groups may have concealed important objects on the island. A significant contribution to the story that surrounds Oak Island has been made by Halpern's study, in particular, her interpretation of a map from the 14th century and its connections to the Templars. Zena Halpern's revelation regarding the true history of the Oak Island mystery aligns with the Roman coins that are located on Lot 5 and the enigmatic constructions that are dispersed across the island. Numerous pieces of evidence point to the possibility that this is the case. Over in England, there is a brick that bears the literal engraving of the year 1347. There is a striking similarity between what they discovered on Oak Island and what they discovered in Portugal, as Marty points out. In a similar manner, the H.O. Stone is a well-known emblem that can be found in Italy, which was formerly a part of the Roman Empire. Absolutely flawless. Carvings and structures that are distinctively similar to those discovered on Oak Island have been discovered in each of these locations. Is there a possible significance to this? In other words, is it merely a coincidence? In agreement with Rick, the team is fully committed to demonstrating that these hypotheses are correct. They are prepared to begin the detective job, which will involve searching Oak Island for additional clues and getting to the bottom of the mysteries surrounding its fascinating history. What exactly are you holding out for? The discovery of ancient Roman coins on Lot 5 and the exploration of Templar castles throughout Europe are only two examples of the discoveries that have been made. All of the artifacts and symbols provid hints about a more profound story. Carvings and constructions that echo Across time and countryists suggest that there may be a connection between Oak Island and the Knights Templar. The revelations made by Zena Halpern serve as a guide, encouraging the team to become metal detectives. They are not only looking for wealth, but they are also trying to uncover the stories that are part of Oak Island's extensive history. Lastly, the underwater exploration conducted by diver Tony Sampson has resulted in the discovery of submerged artifacts. These artifacts include a hand-carved timber plank and earthenware with blue motifs, which has sparked speculation over the possibility of shipwrecks or early settlers there. Four coins that broaden the scope of the Oak Island Enigma and maybe establish a connection between it and the Knights Templar form the basis of the most significant revelation. Just try to picture discovering four coins in such close proximity to one another. What does this imply about something? It is currently unknown what the future holds for the series. On the other hand, taking into consideration the track record of the show, as well as the mysteries that have not been answered about Oak Island, there is still a significant probability that the Lagina Brothers' quest will continue. Since The Curse of Oak Island is one of the shows that has been on the History Channel for the longest amount of time. There is no need to terminate the series at this time. It is anticipated that additional information on Season 12 will be made available around the same time as the 11th and final episode of The Curse of Oak Island Season 11 is slated to premiere on January 8, 2024. Given that The Curse of Oak Island is a reality show, it is difficult to make an accurate prediction regarding the storyline that will be shown in the upcoming Season 12. However, it is highly improbable that the series will deviate from its typical format of treasure-seeking on Oak Island. 
it is likely that Season 12 will continue to focus on the Lagana brothers and their team as they go about their task. Despite going on a number of expeditions and making a number of discoveries, the brothers have not yet completely uncovered the mysteries of the island. The show has never deviated from its pattern, with the exception of spin-off series, and has always concentrated on this overarching concept throughout its entirety. As a result, viewers may anticipate additional treasure hunting adventures, historical disclosures, and possibly even fresh ideas and leads in the hypothetical 12th season of the show. Despite encountering challenges along the way, the team continues to be resolute in their pursuit of their purpose. On the other hand, Fred Nolan's discoveries concerning an ancient Portuguese presence were accurate, reigniting their hope for victory. Season 9 proved that Xena Halpern's Templar map was wrong. In addition to this, the group discovers the top 10 Portuguese connections. A mission has been undertaken by the Lagina brothers to discover who might have been responsible for burying the wealth on Oak Island. They believe that Prince Henry Sinclair, the Knights Baronet, and the Portuguese Order of Christ are among their top suspects in the Oak Island mystery. They believe that one of these organizations may have been involved in the mystery to some degree. In the most recent episodes of The Curse of Oak Island Season 11, an amazing discovery is made in the swamp. This discovery reveals intriguing parallels between the Knights Templar and the enigma surrounding Oak Island. Consequently, the Stone Path is without a doubt the most important discovery that has been made this year. The path emerges from the swamp and leads to the Silver Pit. This finding was made by Dr. Ian Spooner, who is the responsible party. I am bewildered as to the reason why the bottom of the swamp is covered in stones, as well as the eighth season on the History Channel. On the island, the team was successful in drying up the artificial wetland. They were successful in uncovering a strange stone path by means of diligent archaeological investigation. The results indicate that the route, which goes back to the 16th century, was laid out. There were a number of iron remnants that were found along the route. These remains were assigned to the same time period and were quite possibly utilized as bull shoes. The excavations that took place in 2023 have also resulted in the discovery of a number of fascinating artifacts, including remnants of pottery and antique coins. The fact that some of these things may be traced back to recognized periods in history, while others remain unexplained, has contributed to the growth of speculation over the true nature of the contents of the money pit. In the island marsh, the group discovered a copper coin. It was thought to have been made in the 17th century when it was examined by experts. Spanish explorers may have stashed a treasure chest rather than handing it over to the monarch at the time, according to one notion. Did you mean this treasure? On the other hand, maybe someone else was searching for the gold and dropped it. A silver ring was also discovered in the wetland. A trained gemologist was later consulted, and it was determined that the ring had undergone two separate repairs, one to enlarge it and another to reduce its size. The chiseled floral design suggested that it was made in the 1730s in Europe, most likely Spain. Naval Brace A different school of thought holds that the wetland may conceal a sunken vessel. The goods were simply offloaded from a treasure ship. After the ship grounded, its destruction was attempted in an effort to remove any proof. After finding a severely damaged ship brace in the swamp, the crew was able to draw this connection. The brace had gone through a violent fire. Their conversation with the blacksmith led them to believe that this kind of thing would have taken place in the 18th century. All around the island, from the money pit to the swamp, people have discovered ship spikes. Were they a docking wharf where valuables might be unloaded? Coins, buttons, and even a firearm part were discovered by the team while hunting for relics on Lot 24. Samuel Ball was a former landowner in the neighborhood. Ball came into this world in 1764 in a slave household in South Carolina. He relocated to Nova Scotia following the war, having won his freedom by fighting for the British during the American Revolution. He paid a high price for a very tiny four-acre site on Oak Island in 1786. Whether or not Ball found treasure is the subject of one theory. 
concealed the fact. The group found what seemed like a man-made stone tunnel next to Samuel Ball's house. They speculated that this might have been a way to a vault containing Ball's riches. A keyhole decorated with a flowery, ornate style was discovered by the team during metal detecting. It may have belonged to a chest. The island is said to be the location of one of the three treasure chests that have gone missing from Captain James Anderson. Were any found by the Laginas? Along those same lines, treasure hunter Fred Nolan of Oak Island found five enormous boulders in 1981 that formed a massive symmetrical cross. At the heart of the cross rested an additional pebble that bore the hallmarks of Templar burial sites, a human face and a sword picture. The rocks that are today called Nolan's Cross may have proof that a Templar fleet traveled to Oak Island from the Atlantic and maybe even hidden some valuables. Near Smith's Cove, a lead cross was found. The group subsequently visited the French prison of Dom, where Templar knights were once held. There were religious sculptures all over the wall. A crucifix, nearly identical to the one discovered on the island, was among the markings, along with images of Jesus and the Virgin Mary. Subscribe if you are liking the content so far. In the course of their exploration of the unknown, each finding becomes a monument to the mysterious history of the island. This not only challenges their preconceived notions, but also invites them to demonstrate the meticulous plan that has been carried out over the course of several generations or even centuries. As they continue to peel back the layers of Oak Island's captivating narrative, the journey becomes more intense and they do it with unyielding determination. That is, the team has finally uncovered the real reasons behind the mystery surrounding Oak Island, making this season of Oak Island nothing short of a mystery.